Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will begin with a very interesting topic that is electromagnetic wave. In this topic, the average energy density associated with magnetic field. I will discuss about this. In previous lecture, I explained, I discussed about the average energy density due to electric field in electromagnetic wave. But today, average energy density due to magnetic field of the same electromagnetic wave. So let us begin with this topic. Average energy density due to magnetic field. Consider a cylinder. Consider a solenoid, not cylinder. Consider a solenoid which length is small n. n being number of turns per unit length number of turns per unit length r with the radius then we all know that self inductance due to solenoid is given by L is equal to mu naught n square pi r square L. Okay. Now the magnetic field due to solenoid is also given by V is equal to mu naught n i. Both L and B play a very important role in finding the energy density that is average energy density. Here we want energy density. In case of so in case of here solenoid the magnetic energy it is stored and that magnetic energy u is given by half l i square this is the energy that is magnetic energy stored in a solenoid now if you want to find the magnetic energy per the energy per unit volume that will be energy density in this case putting value of l and i from both the equations we can write here half l means mu naught n square pi r square l into i square here i is equal to b by mu naught n b by mu naught n this is square simplifying it we get mu naught square n square cut it the value will be written here half into into pi r square l half into b square by mu naught into pi r square l pi r square l is nothing but volume volume of this solenoid 
and that it is a cylindrical shape so you can write here u is equal to half into b square by mu naught into volume we want energy per unit volume in that case we have to we have to rearrange the term and that will be equal to we can write here u by volume u by volume energy density let it be u b c that is u b is equal to half b square by mu naught so this is the energy density due to magnetic field the interesting thing is that b is variable why variable because b is equal to b naught sin omega t minus kx this is the equation for wave equation for magnetic field since b is varying due to variation of t and x because b is the function of x and t so the variation of b means the variation of energy density per unit volume and since there is a variation therefore this energy density per unit volume that will be called average energy per unit volume now i will say average energy per unit volume if we want to find the average then putting its value u b is equal to half b square means b not square sin square omega t minus kx divided by mu not for average value we already know that the average value of sin square theta is 1 by 2 the average value of sin square theta is equal to 1 by 2 and the constant average value is the same that is u b is equal to half into b not square by mu not and its average value of this portion will be 1 by 2 therefore the average energy density due to magnetic field you will will be given by this expression 1 by 4 v not square by mu not very interesting this is average not vector this is like that we see that the average electric energy in case of electric field the average the average energy density in case of electric field that was that was ue is equal to 1 by 4 epsilon not e not square and the average energy density due to magnetic field you see here is equal to 1 by 4 b not square by mu not so if we combine both energy then we can get the net 
energy density associated with the electromagnetic wave. That means total energy density is equal to uv plus ue. If we want to add, we can add it. Okay, so the value we can write here in the form of electric field or in the form of magnetic field alone, we can write u is equal to uv and we already know very well that uv is equal to the average energy density due to magnetic field and due to electric field are equal in magnitude okay so the total energy density you can write here if we in the form of this or in the form of this you can write here uv that is 1 by 4 v naught square by mu naught make it twice in the form of magnetic field 1 by 2 the energy density can be written like that or in the function of or in the form of in the form of electric field you can write twice of 1 by 4 epsilon naught e naught square that is 1 by 2 epsilon naught e naught square so this is the total energy in the form of electric field the total energy in the form of magnetic field so this is all about the today's lecture the rest portion of this topic will be done in the next class till then watch my video and go to your study okay